Hi, I'm Chilton Webb, and this is Glycon. This is a motion capture platform that uses a VR headset to allow you to record motion capture and then use it in other products. And today I'm going to show you this um, motion capture being used in several different products. So right now what I want to do is just follow these instructions here. I'm going to hop, I'm going to do this live edit toggle. I'm using an Oculus Quest for this example, but it works in Oculus Rift, HTC Vive, Windows Mixed Reality, and Oculus Quest. So I'm going to hop into live mode here, and I'm going to record um, some very simple stuff. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit that button over there on, that's on my controller that says that the one for record. And as soon as I hit that, it's going to start recording up here. So I'm going to do that now. And I'm going to wave at everyone. Hi! Come on over. The water is great or something. I'm not sure. Okay, so now I've recorded that. And I'm going to hop back into the live edit mode. Okay, and now we're back in edit mode. And if I push outward on the joystick, it will create my laser pointer for me. I want to come over here to this um, export button right here and click that. And I've got this set to enhance for UE4. Um, I'm going to export this animation that I just recorded once. And when it finishes, it's going to get to about 87 and it's going to kind of pause here for a couple of seconds. That's totally normal. That's how it's, it's doing this last little bit of processing. This is a lot faster on the desktop version, but on the Quest, it's, uh, you know, it's acceptable if you're willing to wait a few seconds. And I'm going to record one version that's enhanced for Unreal Engine 4, and I'm going to record one that's not. So, um, so I've turned off Enhance for UE4, and I'm going to click the Export button again. Now, this is going to export the animation for... Um, the, the UE4 Enhanced version has um, a few slight modifications that make it easier to work with Unreal Engine, but slightly make it more complicated work with Mixamo. Um, if you don't enhance it for UE4, then it's much easier to work with uh, Mixamo. So that's just something to keep in mind. All right, so we're done here. I'm now going to hop into several different programs and show you how to use the same motion capture that we just recorded, which, by the way, will be stored over here on your, on your device if you're looking for the path. Um, it will be on your machine. On your device, we're just going to um, move that over to the computer and then take it into several different programs. So I'm going to split this video up and show you that in each of the different programs. Thanks. To load this animation in Lightwave is really easy. We're going to go to the File menu and Load Scene and select that FBX animation we exported from our Oculus Quest earlier. We want to make sure bake rotations and Maya style joints are on. And now we have our animation. We actually don't even need to save this because it already saved it in the process of opening it. So now we're going to create a new scene and we're going to open our Ybot. This is a model from Mixamo that has the same skeleton as the Glycon character. As you can see, there's no animation here. Go to Load, Load Items from Scene, and select your previous scene. This is the converted Lightwave scene that Lightwave creates when it opened our FBX animation earlier. We want to merge only motion envelopes and hit OK. And now, Mr. Ybot has our animation. To see the full thing, make sure you set the uh, frame count to the total size of the animation. And that's all there is to it. You can further mess with the motion and put this on other models and such using Motion Mixer in Lightwave. For more information, go to liberty3d.com slash glycon. Thank you.